right, I think that's it. Let's see. Let's refresh. No. Am I? I am. Okay, there we go. Let's start with sharing. Um, oh no, I don't want that one. There we go. Let's go over here. Sorry, Nana's. Hi, Corey. I'm um not really paying attention to you yet, baby. Oh. Okay. I didn't know if you were needing me, but yeah. There we go. I'm getting there, guys. Sorry, sorry. I just had to post it to my page so everybody knew. Oh, and there's Marjorie Ann. Yes, this is your fault, Marjorie. It's all your fault. Okay, there we go. I had to make sure I could see the comments and everything and get set up and share it so everybody knew that I was getting on. <clears throat> Don't mind all my mess over here with my eyes. All right. So I did end up cutting out all of Marjorie Ann's new file. I posted that to my Facebook so you guys could see it. I'll give it a few minutes so everybody can get in. Hi, Paula. But we're going to um, put together Franklin Winter Ice Cream Shop. Hi. Now, if you guys have questions, feel free to ask. I'm here. You guys can pick my brain. And I wanted to show you guys a couple things as well. Um, I'm going to give you guys something else to play with. But this is Glossy Accents. As you guys can see, it gives a yellow look to it. It ends up discolored on white paper. Um, and this is something else. This is going to be Nouveau Drops Morning Dew, but put on a very, very thin layer of it. Oh, hi, Patricia. Oh, yes, extras, lots of extras. Well, the thing is, is, <clears throat> excuse me, we have really bad wind in California and I did not take allergy medicine today because I had a doctor's appointment to go get injections. But when I do my videos, I know for me, I hate sitting there and just listening to nothing. I, I just, it, I don't know, I can't sit in silence. And I watch, as I said in my videos, reruns. So I don't necessarily have to watch it, but I can hear and mentally know what's going on. Law and Order SVU, I've seen all of them so many times, but the live also, it makes it so I don't miss anybody, and I just had to get back into doing them. Um, I had planned on doing them at the end of last year, but I ended up with sciatica. It's gone now, thank goodness, but yes. Um, I'm going to do more lives just because I know people don't always, the messages I get is, you guys don't necessarily know what to ask watching a video versus watching it live. And... Um, we're going to put Franklin together. I'm going to give you guys a couple things to work smarter, not harder. So <clears throat> if you find your favorite Franklin, I might have to lift that up a little. Hi. Oh, I've been to Michigan a few times um, when I lived in Ohio for a couple of months because I gave birth to my daughter at 31 weeks there. And yes, the Michigan Wolverine games was definitely place to, the place to get drunk. That was in my 20s. I'll never admit it. <laughs> um, so if you find your favorite Franny or Franklin, I should say, um, standing, sitting, I save them into my Cricut design space, into my files, so I can just go back and cut out multiples because that saves me so much time while I'm inking and working on other pieces. And I just let it cut continuously while I'm working on the set that's currently in front of me. This is actually the bear from Marjorie Ann's new file. 
it is the one holding the snowman ice cream and went ahead and cut out I think a hundred of him last night while I was inking and doing everything else just because then I'm not cutting out four different bears for the same standing out of a file and that's one thing you guys can go in and resize to make him the same height and then just go ahead and cut out all the accessories you don't have to cut out the bears over and over and fuss with all the bears it makes it a lot easier if you cut out you know 20 bears knowing that normally Marjorie Ann's bears come in sets of five four to five I should say and she's here if y'all want to say hi to her but this is bear number four from the new file and the reason I like this is because I like his little thigh gap because I don't have all the overlapping so Marjorie Ann take notes <laughs> um it I don't have all the overlapping here where his body is so I don't have the bulge when I lay his body on the top and then when you guys order it I don't have to worry about if it's going to be destroyed with indentations from the mail when it goes through the rollers to you guys but I did cut out I have so many bags of Franklin's and I have the ones where he's the peeker bear like this and this is also from the set um the same set that I just cut out. I cut out a whole bunch of them. But it's just, it's going to be the little things that make the biggest difference for you guys. And I also pre-cut my eyes. I know you guys see a lot of people doing it now, and that's fine. I think uh, in one of the videos, somebody said it's a free country and they can copy me. That's fine. Go ahead. I that's Hey, it makes me feel good about myself that, you know, my stuff is worth being copied. That's all I can say. But I have a whole box full of Franklin. And this is just a magnet box I got from Joanne's on clearance. It's huge. Um, but he's full of my Franklins. And it just makes my life easier to grab a Franklin bear out of there and get to inking and not have to worry about <clears throat> the extra stuff if the Franklins are already done. And we're going to give some of these away because I went and ordered extras for you guys. Um, these, you guys were just telling me, oh my gosh, where did you guys get the, where did I get them? And I found them on Amazon. So I ordered packs of three, like this one, um, it's a spring shows us what God can do a little bit of dirt and some rain, but, um, a kind word is like a spring day, butterfly kisses and flower petal wishes. Friends are the sunshine of life, but this is the one that I also got the chocolate. There's nothing better than a friend unless it's a friend with chocolate. And also you can't be sad when you're holding a cupcake because Marjorie Ann actually has a cupcake, Franklin. And what I started doing <clears throat> is also looking at my stamp sentiments because you guys know I hate titles. I Marjorie Ann and I laugh. She says it's because they're too easy for me. I want to do all the extra stuff instead of just sit there with letters. But this has, um, which one is it? Every bunny needs somebody special. This would go so cute with one of her bunny files. Uh, she has one that's get well. And instead of the get well, it says, I'm willing to risk the cooties if you are. But I look for little things like that um, when I order my stamps just because it's, Sometimes just that extra touch instead of a title for me, and I'll still do the titles, but for my books, it's just them holding the little symbol. I just think that it's just that extra touch that you need. Now, um, another thing is I went through Marjorie Ann's files yesterday, and I came across one for Valentine's Day, and I asked her to put it together for you guys because I know mixing and matching and resizing is a pain in the, the rear end. We're just not even going to lie. And it is a lot easier for you guys. And she does do a lot of the files that we ask for you guys if we have something that we need it for. So also, if you guys have something that you can't figure out, feel free to ask. I don't mind helping. Now, the Catherine Pooler ink situation. It is going to fade. And I was new into stamping when I went ahead and started using Catherine Pooler inks. And I did not know that. When you guys get inks, you want to make sure that it is fade resistant. And it will also say archival. Now, Rangers... 
Does the Franklin work on many of the files? Yes. So a sneak peek of what I asked Marjorie Ann to do. There is a really cute little Valentine's file and it has mice and I'm not super crazy over mice because I love Franklin. So what I did is I put one of my Franklins up on my design space and I resized the mice in the file to be the same height as Franklin. And then I cut out all the pieces to that file, the accessories that came with it. That way then I'm just going to replace it with Franklin instead of the mice. And I love Franklin. He is my go-to bear. He's just, I've used him for years and I love him. Are my lights in the way? Yeah, sorry. I didn't realize that that was right there. Okay. So I've switched over to Lawn Fawn because it is archival. And it's also what I use on my stamps. But if you guys like to, this says that it's acid-free, archival, fade-resistant, waterproof, permanent. It is permanent ink. It doesn't tell me what it is, but after investigating, this is, it's premium ink pad. That's, it just says premium. Um, chalk inks are okay as long as they, these are my chalk inks, as long as they say archival, permanent, but you just have to look for that. This is not, this will fade. His Distress Ink is archival, but the Oxide is not because if you add water, it changes the look of the ink and actually gives you the distressed oxide part where the water reacts with the ink to lift the ink color to lighten it. So just FYI, this, it's going to fade, but there's no telling how many years and how much it's going to fade. So just err on the side of caution if you're getting into inking. You want to go with archival, and um, the word that when I did all of my research, when they say premium, that's generally going to be your archival inks. Now, I only ordered the big ones in my basic colors, like my um, Franklin Bear Brown, and because I do a lot of hair also, and then black and the pink for my ears. For my muzzle, I used the Memento Peanut Brittle. Um, but I ordered all of the small ones. I actually have tons of these little trays. And I ordered all of the minis with reinkers just because the reinkers are going to benefit me more than just one big pad. For the price, I got these and the reinkers. But these also are not foam, they're fabric, so they're gonna last you a lot longer. Um, Oh yeah, chalk inks. I remember they're from so long ago, but now a lot of us, I did another video for you guys telling you if you still do use chalk, you do need to set it. And by setting it, what you do is you're gonna chalk around your edges. You're going to flip it over. I generally use a white piece of paper. Let me move my water. <clears throat> We're just gonna grab my old pocket medication post-its from when I was working as a nurse. So after, let's say we've chalked around his edges, we're going to put him upside down and then you grab a spoon um, and you're going to go in circles on the white paper. What that's going to do is it's going to set the chalk into all of the grooves. I am shaking like a leaf. Look at, I got my whole screen shaking. Sorry about that. You're going to go in circles around all of the edges where you've chalked and um, it's going to set all of your chalk into the grooves of your paper, but it makes it also, because we use page protectors in our scrapbooks, you're not gonna have all that chalk residue on your page protector. And that's what a lot of us, I pulled a book out the other day and I went, yeah, that was because I didn't know what I was doing. It is a lot of learn and learning and failing all at the same time. Um, I played with a lot of different mediums and I made my own and that's part of why I didn't show you guys is because I had to come up with the, the compound of it <clears throat> and then I had it custom made for me and it's in a huge, the container is bigger than my hand, but this is what my medium looks like and you're going to have to play with different mediums, but it sets clear once it dries. And as you guys can see, I've been using it because it was a lot more full. 
And that's basically what my medium looks like. You're just gonna have to play with different mediums. Glossy Accents does discolor and cracks over time. So the rule of thumb for your Glossy Accents, because I know a lot of you guys use it because you see it being used in other videos, that's okay. Apply a thin layer, but do it in layers, if that makes sense. So with the Glossy Accents, if you put your first layer, do not make it super thick because that will cause the discoloring. I'm sorry. That's why I'm trying to help everybody because these are just questions that I'm answering that I get so many of from you guys. And I feel bad because <clears throat> Lisa, who I've become best friends with over a simple question on Messenger, she sent me a message and it was about silhouette. I don't use silhouette, but because I'm not a jerk, I didn't say, well, I don't know. You know, that's not my problem. I said, let me start messaging people that I know and let me find you somebody. And I... I'm going to take a drink to hopefully clear up my throat, you guys, so I don't keep clearing it in the microphone. And I didn't just leave her hanging. I actually took the time and found somebody that, that could help her. And, you know, it's like there, she was just ever so thankful because there was people that didn't even respond to her. And I'm not that person. Like, I want to encourage people to scrapbook. And Marjorie Ann will tell you, I don't get anything except just being able to post um, I'm going to take allergy medicine. Sorry. That way then I don't end up coughing from talking. I had bronchitis last month. It was great. Um, I don't get anything except recognition. And then you guys, I get to reach out to you guys. And that's a huge thing. And that's satisfaction enough. I do get my files for free from her. She does take care of us very well and anything that I need created she'll do if it's within her possibilities I can't bring up some off the wall file and expect her to pull it together one because it also has a lot of licensing issues and her stuff is licensed but I can pick and choose from different files and instead of me posting it and going oh well you're gonna need four files to make this I say hey look what I made can you do this and she's like sure absolutely when I have time and that makes it easier for you guys and more affordable as well. But I didn't know half of the stuff when I started and I didn't have a go-to person. I had to learn everything. I started scrapbooking 20 years ago and YouTube was there, but not everybody was posting. Well, there was barely, I don't think there was anybody really posting scrapbooking anything on YouTube. And it was really trial by fire. I look at my old scrapbooks and I laugh, but... Oh, that's okay. Oh, and there's Lisa. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Your ears must have been ringing. But it's just one of those that I want to help anybody and everybody if you have questions because of the fact of I know the struggle that I went through trying to figure out a lot of it. Now, here comes the fun part. I found a mixture for Pan Pastels. And I'm on my... Where is my phone? I don't know where my phone is. Okay. I will post it in the comments on my Facebook. I found a mixture that actually gave me the perfect color for the blush. There we go. I have a little delay on my screen, so I'm just making sure that it was clear, sorry. These are my old blush cubes, but I did find a, a happy middle for the actual cheek color if you guys want it. Um, we're gonna use it when we do his cheeks just so you guys can see it. But I will put the links um, under where I post the live on my Facebook. So that way you guys know what colors to get. All you have to do, I did a video. Mine's cracked just because I used not enough alcohol, which is fine because I don't really, it doesn't matter. It all goes on the same way. I just don't want the powder blowing all over the place. But it is two forms of red that I mix together. And it actually works out perfect. One is a very light pink, even though it says red, and the other is a red. But you'll just have to play with your portions in order to get it to a color that you like. And the thing is, use a very little bit on either a pom-pom or the other tool that I show you guys, which is where I usually have it in front of me. Oh, it just sunk down into my group cup. When you guys play with it, before you pack it down with the alcohol, what I did is I just dabbed into it and I 
put it on white paper so I could see what I was up against as far as the depth of the color. If it was gonna be too red or too pink. And I just kept adding and mixing until I got it just right. There is no really good color for cheek blush, I've noticed, so that's why I've been playing around with different pan pastels is because it's really, it is a crafting safe chalk, so it is scrapbook safe. And the biggest thing for me was not having the right color. Like this one is all right on my peach, but then I put it on the brown and it ends up looking neon pink and it's just too much for me. My husband took the, the doggies in the bedroom. My husband, he cracks me up. He loves me. So he, uh, I've been getting migraines. That's part of why I haven't been doing all my videos and it's from my neck and the cold weather. Our high here today is 37 degrees in Southern California. Well, no, it's 43, sorry. It was 37 when I went to the doctor this morning. But um, also my hair is, my hair was all the way to my butt and I, my migraines were just getting ridiculous. Well, he cut my hair for me last night. That way I didn't have to drive anywhere to go get it done. And <clears throat> he went ahead and chopped it off to my shoulders. And it's even, I'm really surprised, but yes. He took his time and cut my hair. So that's also why I'm able to function is I don't have the headache from my hair being all the way to my butt because I was just wrapping it in a bun, but when it's wet, it makes it even heavier. So for this, this is, this is the color blush by American Crafts. And I went around it with ballet slippers and it was a little too light. I'm still learning all these because they're new. So what I did is I mixed these two together. I dabbed into this one, I lightly touched this and I went back into my ballet slipper and it gave me a soft pink that was a little darker than just the ballet slipper. I didn't want it super bright because it's ice cream and I don't want it taking away from everything else. So we're gonna go ahead and put Franklin together and if you guys have questions, feel free to ask. Pick my brain why I'm here. <clears throat> and I'll go through the comments, you guys. Um, and I know a lot of you guys follow me on Facebook. And then I will send you a message. I'll, I'll let Brianna pick the winner. She's really good at doing that. She normally is the one that does it anyways. So she sits there and scrolls through comments and then with her eyes closed, holds her finger down and whoever it lands on is who ends up. But we're gonna give a lot of these away. I am gonna cover shipping. So you will get a message from me from um, Facebook Messenger. Um, there's also this one, but yeah. Thank you for everything you do. I mean, they're just, they're sweet little sentiments and hey, free stuff never hurt, right? All right, let's get gluing Franklin together so we can, I'm gonna show you guys eyelashes first. I lied. That was a big thing that I get from you guys is eyelashes. All right, you guys ready to learn my trade secrets? And I don't know what that text was. Hold on one second. I have the rest of my stamps coming. No, okay. Um, they only sent me half of it, so uh, I just, we have mail thieves in California. I'm sure they're everywhere, but we're going to work on some eyelashes first. I'm just going to show you guys a couple pointers. There is no right or wrong way, and you do not have to do it my way. I, I'm going to stress that. Hi. I'm so wanting to move to Florida. Let me tell you guys what happened the other day if you missed it. So, my dad passed away on the 5th. And the day before that, he passed away a couple years ago on the 5th. And I miss him. I miss him. That was my go-to person. Something else happened that day, but I'm just not going to share it with everybody. Um, don't judge me, old lady Lisa. Let's not go there. I don't know what Smokey and the Bandit is. Y'all, I was almost born in 1980. I was born at the very tail end of 79. And this old lady over here thinks I know what Smokey and the Bandit is. Not realizing she's almost as old as my mom. You're going to get unbest friended. How about that? <laughs> um, yes, Kathy. Cards, I can give you um, some really good pointers on cards as well. When you resize, I know that you have A2 to A7, and I know there's some other ones in between there. Don't use my 2-inch wide, 2-inch tall head rule. <clears throat> Don't go there. You are going to... 
go by how tall your piece is. And depending on what letter, what size card you use, that's going to be what you adjust. And you can have them bigger than if you put a circle with a band behind it and another block on top of your card. But you want to judge his height, not how big his head is or anything else that you've learned from me. You want to go by how tall he is and how tall your card is. Because that is very important. Otherwise, he will over the piece will overpower your card. And I know generally with a lot of my cards, I do him about four inches tall because that'll give me an inch and a half to two inches to get my sentiment across the bottom. And it works great for me, but you're going to have to play with, you know, all the different things and find out what works for you. So <clears throat> as you guys saw when I loaded up the video, you see all these little eyes over here. So what I do with my eyes is I place them down. Let me open my case. I saw other people doing this now. I've done this for years. This is so funny. I see so many people doing this in their videos now. And I've done this. This is my case. And now they're even cutting out the white little circles. That's me. But that's okay. I like seeing it. Um, I just kind of laugh because sometimes watching the videos, it's like watching myself. I'm like, oof. I have quite the impression on people. All right. So once I get my eyes right where I want them. Let's scoot these under. And generally, this is where the little um, removable, movable glue is. It's flake and glitter glue. It's by Cosmic Shimmer on Amazon. Yes, it is a lot of eyelashes. Girl, I've done probably 100 heads sitting in that box, and they're already done. You don't have to do that many, and that's what I'm going to show you. I put a dot of this on the back of these eyes. I let it dry. It's gonna go from this white milky color to a clear iridescent color. That's how you know that it's dry. I take my finger and I touch the back of it just to get the major stick off so it does not rip my cardstock when I take them off. Once they're in the right perfect position and I like where they are and I've traced them, I've glued them down, I've done all my work, then what I do is the same thing. I put two dots of it on the back of my next set. They're sticky, as you can see. And I lay them over. They're almost perfectly even, just because I've done them so many. And this is how I create my template. So that way, then, my eyes are always in the same exact position. And I trace them into my book. Let me get my eyes off that, because otherwise it won't stick when I need it to. So I have a cheat book. And I've already got extra ones ready to go. I trace them into my book. These are my favorite fonts that I use if y'all want to screenshot it. Look at how cute this is. But anyhow, um, once I get them right where I want them, I trace them onto here. And then this is what I use just to keep making my template over and over again. Because you can only trace them so many times before you end up smearing the black all over your pieces. So keep in mind that when you do trace them, the edges are going to pick up the ink from the black marker. Let's see. Oh, you're so welcome, Jennifer. Yes, well, and I got a lot of comments from you guys about those stamps. That's why I was like, I'll order some more because they're not very expensive. And <clears throat> Timu has a bunch. I have a bulk coming from Timu. Let's not even go there. And the copyright issues, I don't know how they get away with it. If you go to the Timu app and type in Lawn Fawn, if you guys have a Lawn Fawn obsession like I do, they have sets that are identical to Lawn Fawn. They just don't have the Lawn Fawn logo on the little plastic, um, this little thing. That's the only difference. And I got some cute ones that I just, I don't want to pay Lawn Fawn's prices for the dies and the stamps. But I'm trying to push myself to actually use some of the stamps that my husband has bought me because he randomly orders them for me when he sees them in the Amazon cart. So I created the template. And after we get this little bar down, then I end up doing a crisscross bar onto his muzzle. This is eyes to my kids, so to the little kids. Don't judge me for this one. That's why they're closer than the Franklin eyes. And then I do my crisscross bar against his muzzle. The reason I do that is because then what we're going to do 
I don't want to mix up my heads, so I don't want to end up thinking that that one goes to one of these guys, even though they're all the same size. I lay my head on top of the body. That way I know where the muzzle goes for the middle. And now I trace my eyes. I use either a 005 or a 02. It's basically just whatever I grab and it's a micron pen and I go around. Now a secret to the eyes and inking your head. Oh, um, type in lawn fawn, L-A-W-N-F-A-W-N. -A -A I'll show you a snippet of, um, I have a bunch of lawn fawn, but I also have the dyes, so give me a sec. I have buckets and buckets of lawn fawn. This is the brand here. They make dyes and um, the stamps. Now, if any of you guys are familiar with Lawn Fawn, these are Lawn Fawn. Let me pull them out. I keep them in a bag and I usually cut them in half so I don't struggle to get them in and out, but I just didn't cut this one. Now, this is a Lawn Fawn. I love Lawn Fawn. And um, this is what the logo looks like. And they actually have a .com. But for the stamps, you're looking $12 to $22. And then the dies run $10 to $17. And now let me show you what I got from Timu. This is not Lawn Fawn, but Lawn Fawn actually has a set just like this. And I just thought this one was so cute. I couldn't help myself. And I have the dies that match it. I just haven't matched them all up because when you order them uh, from Timu, they come in cellophane like this, but they're not matched with the dies and I don't know why. This is another Lawn Fawn, this is a Christmas one, but I'm not spending 30 some odd dollars for Lawn Fawn anymore now that I found the Timu app. I got this from Timu, these aren't Lawn Fawn similar, but I have a couple requests for like, um, Marjorie Ann has a little boy, a little alien set. And I just think that these sentiments are so cute. So I ordered this one from Timu. Shoot for the moon, even if you miss your land among the stars. Love you to the moon and back. You're my shining star. And then this one is I'm over the moon for you. But I even thought about doing Franklin because she's got the Halloween one where he's got a moon. I just think that the sentiments will be perfect. And it just adds extra. <clears throat> um, But... I have buckets and buckets and buckets of stamps, you guys. These are another Lawn Fawn. This is what I was talking about as far as that other set. This is an actual Lawn Fawn that I spent way, well, my husband spent way too much money for. Um, but tell me that those don't look the same. This is Timu, this is Lawn Fawn. You, you can't, you're not gonna tell me that you see a difference. I And I've been using Lawn Fawn for 100 years. I mean, not literally, but since they launched years ago. Um, as far as paper, now, when you guys use the links that I give you for the paper, it gives me credit and it also helps me stay on the design team for 12 by 12 cardstock shop, but it gives me a credit so I can keep buying paper and that's why my pieces stay so cheap and I'm able to do the videos for you guys. I don't get paid out from it. They just give me a credit that I can spend in the store to get such my swatch books and whatnot. Um, so it does help me out. And I did ask if I could tell you guys that and she said it was absolutely fine. So sneak peek with, not sneak peek, um, cheat notes. For those that like to save money, I would rather have the same quality and it be cheaper so I can buy more than buy a name brand that I'm familiar with that is going to be the same and equivalent to, you know how you can shop at Target versus Walmart or the 99 cent store? We go to Target a lot. That's why I'm using it and everything over there is overpriced. I paid $7 for a bottle of bleach yesterday and I, $40 for our thing of toilet paper. I almost threw up at the register, but we won't go there. Basil was a big thing. It is expensive. I just have the basil because of the fact of I have so much extra of it. And you guys have no idea how much paper I have here. I have 11 carts that are four and a half feet tall, full of 12 by 12 cardstock. Now, 
I go through 12 by 12 cardstock shop because they ship it right to my house. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong, I hit up Joann's when Joann's does the 10 for $2 because that's 20 cents a sheet. And you'd be a fool not to, but they don't always have all the colors and they don't have peach. That's why I pushed so hard to get you guys the peach that I use on my kids, which I have a bunch cut out. This is the little girls holding the teddy bears that I did, the baby Franklins. And I use cellophane to keep them together with a sticky note so I know what file it is when I cut out the extras for you guys. Um, my giveaways and my orders and whatnot, just so I don't lose them all, but there are baby Franklins in here. Oh, there's one right there, actually. There's two. I think there's 20 left in this bag, but it's fluffed with love from Mad as Marjorie Ann Designs, but this is the peach. Now, Joann's was the only place that had it, and that's why I was telling you guys it's discontinued, because it was. They weren't able to get it from the warehouse. They weren't able to get it from the manufacturer, and I worked with 12 by 12 cardstock shop, and I'm like, that's bull because it's American Crafts. It's Coordination's American Crafts. And 12 by 12 cardstock shop holds, carries this line of paper. So after months of going back and forth with um, American Crafts, the, my design team admin went down there and actually physically had a meeting with them. They had the um, peach labeled is smooth and it was the wrong, it was inventoried wrong. So this whole time, nobody's been able to get the peach paper I've used for, since 2015. That's how long I've used that peach paper. And this was the peach that they had us getting. Let me show you how horrible this is. I'm, what is this? This is peach. Do you guys see like that is, it's pink like a coral pink color in person. I don't know how well my camera's picking it up because of all the lights, but this is what they had it listed under. It is not anything. Yeah, it's horrible looking. And I told Michelle, I'm like, that, that's not going to work. I need peach. And I bought every, I, they were, sh mm, Joann's knows me. They had ordered it from stores all across the U.S. for me. And I mean, I bought 5,000 sheets of it because I just didn't want to run out. And it wasn't able to get it from the warehouse anymore. So after all of her meetings, they found it. It was inventoried wrong. So this whole time, all these years since 2018, they haven't been selling it because they had did a bad job on their inventory. But it's fixed now. So this is, this was the other one that was close out of the pastel pack. But you only get two sheets. Not close meaning that, but that was, it was labeled as peach from the pastel pack. But I'm just like, are you guys kidding me? There's no way that anybody can use any of these. And the shrimp, the trick if you have a bunch of shrimp is use the back side. Don't use the front textured size side. Use the back side if you do have shrimp. That was the closest one and that was a trick that I was giving you guys as a workaround why we didn't have the peach being accessible. Now, that being said, let me put that away so I don't lose it. You're going to pay more for American Crafts because of the name brand. <clears throat> 12 by 12 Cardstock Shop created their own line. It is called Encore. I have been slowly re replacing all of my American Crafts paper to Encore. The other thing, you don't have to buy a swatch book or if they don't have them, you're not going to miss out. Create your own. Go on to Timu or Amazon walmart.com scrapbook.com and you get a scrapbook expander that's what this little metal piece is called a scrapbook expander and these are five inches by two inches yeah five inches by two inches you can actually create it in cricut design space and cut this square out of your piece of paper and write the name of the color on it so you can make your own swatch books and you can just add a circle to the corner of your five by two um picture yes it cuts wonderfully and this actually cuts better than this with the fine points so this is encore paper and i notice with american crafts sometimes when you have points like this they fray at the end and encore doesn't do that i embossed Yes, and it has little hearts on it. You guys see that? That's what we're going to be using for Franklin. 
But um, the Encore paper is gonna be your best bet. It's gonna work a lot more affordably for you. And it's also going to give you a better cut quality on your super fine point pieces. Now your regular ones, it works fine. But as far as if it has points like hair, the ends sometimes split. And that was what I was finding myself having to do was, here's another trick for you guys. This is just years of scrapbooking. You're gonna, don't put it on your finger. It dries a lot quicker. Put it on a glass mat or a piece of parchment paper, a styrofoam plate. And what you'll do for the edges that are frayed, you're gonna dip the corner in on the glass mat and you'll have some glue and you'll pull away from the paper and pinch it shut. Yes, the binder ring was getting on my nerves. It was all over the place. And I'm just trying to give you guys things. I get the swatch books for free because I push the paper for them. When you guys ask me what paper I use and you guys go get it from them, they give me the swatch books. But then half the time they're out of stock anyways. So I want you guys to be able to have the things that I have and why spend $13 if you don't have all of those colors when you can make your own with stuff you've already purchased? And I wouldn't do a five by two. I would do a four by two or even a three and a half by two because five is a bit big, but it's up to you. I swatch everything though. I have extra pieces that um, weren't in because they're old or discontinued that I use. I don't know where it is. Well, here for one, but I just did the same thing. I cut the hole and I ran it through, but you guys can see that that's not theirs because theirs are all printed on. And where I got it from, which pack, so I knew. Because this wasn't a peach I could buy. It was out of the pastel pack. I wonder if my husband knows that he didn't have to hide in the bedroom. But this is going to be... Uh-oh. I'm sorry. Where are you, Cindy? We had 55 mile an hour winds with freezing rain. We were on a freeze warning here in California. And I'm in Southern California where it's always sunny, but it's freezing. But um, I just wanted to give you guys just some tricks. And the same thing with gluing your small pieces, your letters. You don't have to put it on your finger. Okay, Arkansas. Okay. Um, or is that Nebraska? Arkansas. Okay. Um, I hope your weather gets better. It's not the time to not have power. I hope you at least have heat. I know one of my friends lives in... Texas and they had that power outage where people were passing away because they didn't have any heat. That That's the first thing that comes to mind is everybody's safety. <clears throat> I guess I should just start being mean and, you know, not think, because then I end up feeling bad about everything and I don't know why. Oh, all my years of nursing and caring, I guess. I just, I can't change who I am. So, I just want to give you guys just some pointers because there is a lot of things, like I said, it's going to be a lot of information. You guys are going to have the option to rewatch this. Um, I'm not going to make it private or take it down. I'm not here to talk about anybody. So yeah, if you log on and I know you know who you are, this is not about you and all the references, they're not about you. I'm not making them about anybody. And that's one thing I want to clear up. You can't make what somebody says in a video about you. It just has nothing to do with anything. And I'm not saying one person's video is right or wrong versus mine is right or wrong. No, I am here just to get everybody on the same page and giving you guys a direction to then tweak what we do and make it your own. And Wanda, you'll, yeah, I'm going to leave this up so you guys can rewatch it and take notes and do whatever. Yes, but the thing with the glue... It, on your hand is the the heat from your body warms it up and that's actually I learned it from Sarah uh, she used to be on the design team with us and she ended up moving on to other things because she does journaling or something now I don't know um, not journaling um, well she does some journaling what's that stuff with the calendars those books that you know you write in and I don't know what it's calendar things I, I don't know what they're called because I don't use them I have a phone I don't have paper but she does the cutest little hand-drawn designs and she kind of just threw scrapbooking to the side she's the one one day I messaged her if you guys are into that journaling and calendar stuff she has um, a page called peppermint cactus on planners there you go oh my gosh I should know that word Franklin has a set of planners um 
She has Facebook and it's called Peppermint Cactus. She will show you guys, she uses highlighters to color in stuff. She did a lemon page and a strawberry page. I just don't have, I would rather sit there and scrapbook with paper than that, only because of my tremors. Um, and that's part of why I do so many eyelashes at one time for Franklin is I do them on my good days because my bad days, either I look like I was drunk or he looks like he was drunk. Yes, she's so sweet. And she's actually one of the ones that offered to help me with Lisa. And I didn't want to leave Lisa hanging. And that's just how Lisa and I became best friends was she saw that, you know, I'm a very loving and giving human being and I want to help everybody. And other people are like, well, I'm not getting anything out of helping you. I'm not here for anything. I don't profit off of anybody. And that's the thing. I do, I am monetized. So, you know, the views and the comments, yes, the more you guys interact, I get a small little check from YouTube and Facebook. And I'm happy with that. That allows me to keep pushing stuff out. And the more I get going, I'm sure the more it'll boost up you can make anywhere from $37 to $500 and more but you know I'm normally on the low end just because I wasn't pushing my page and I'm still not that's why you guys don't hear me going oh make sure to like subscribe and hit that follow button and share no I'm here to help you guys I'm not here to make a paycheck I didn't ask them to do it because I have to be careful with oh yeah I hate when they do that I'll intentionally not hit the like button even if I love the video if they tell me to and I don't know, maybe I'm just a jerk, but you know, I leave that for you guys. That's on you guys. If you guys want to like and share and that that's, I love the interaction, even if nobody likes it and the comments, if you guys just want to interact with me that way, I'm okay with it. And did you guys know I'm a disabled nurse? So I have to be careful with income. And that's why I'm not like, oh my gosh, like share and let me go be the next, you know, Jennifer Maker. No, I, I just, I can't lose my, um, Medicare and my United Healthcare because of my lupus. Yes, we are going to do the lashes and I'm going to show you guys a trick now. Yeah, okay, so I'm not the only one. All right. And I just didn't know if I'm just the jerk. Like, am I the drama? Because you tell me to hit that like button, I'm definitely not going to do it. But I've always been that way. You know, even as a kid, my mom says, don't do it. Guess what? I'm going to do it. Don't touch fire. I'm going to stick my whole hand in there. Who cares if I lose some skin and some hair? You know, and then my mom says to do something, I'm not going to do it. Well, unless it's do something fun. But you know, that's just life. But I'm like, I'm a grown adult. We're not going to do this. So get a pencil out. And you want to go with a light hand. I love Pachaco. This is Sanrio. My husband bought me a whole bunch of Sanrio stuff. And he knows I love Pachaco. Actually, the shirt I wore to the doctor's office was Pachaco today. Yes, I'm in my late 40s, but I grew up on Sanrio. I'm not in late 40s. I'm in my mid 40s, early 40s. Well, yeah. It, I was born in 79, almost 80, so I'll tell you how, guys, how old I am. I just turned 44, but I still feel like a kid at heart, and that's why I play with paper and color. But you're going to want just, I recommend a lead pencil because they erase the best. And the next piece you're going to want, and they come in different forms, but you want a white eraser. Where's my other ones? These are Tombow Mono Zero is what they're called. And I learned about these from Connie. I'm sure you guys know Connie. Um, back to when she talked to me. She quit talking to me over all the drama that had nothing to do with her and I didn't drag her into it, but that's fine. I lost a friend over it. But if you lose a friend, then it wasn't a friend at all is what my husband says. You know, and everybody comes in your life to leave at some point if they're not meant to be there. And I've come to accept that. That's why I don't let shit bother me anymore. I've just really gotten over a lot of things and I don't hold grudges. I, I ain't got time for that. My lupus, it ends up affecting me and my health and my health is more important. Yes, a white eraser. So I got these from Amazon and you want a lead pencil in a 0.5. It doesn't say it on here because I don't know what the Asian writing is, but... Oh, no, it does. Very small next to it. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's blurry. It's a 0 0.5. This is the size lead you're going to want because it's going to erase and be the cleanest. So if you're not comfortable doing a whole eye... Lisa, if you're not here, rewatch this woman because you get on my last nerve. I love you, but yeah, this one's because of Lisa, you guys. You do not have to do the whole eye. 
start at the bottom. So what you can do, let me grab my eraser. And if you don't have one of these, a tea ruler, you definitely want to add this from Amazon. It is by Mr. Pen. They have, I have the six inch and I have the 12 inch. This is so you can line your pieces up, your photo mats. Let me find a card. You guys can see my P.O. box. I ain't got no secrets. Oh, this one doesn't have it on it. Okay. Yeah, I have a P.O. box. I got some nice stuff from you guys in my P.O. box. <clears throat> I sent you guys thank yous, but yeah. And the cards, they're so sweet. I did not use the eyelash stamp. And I was actually, Marjorie Ann and I are talking about that off. And once we figure out what we're doing, she's actually going to do something a lot easier for you guys. So um, the eyelash stamp. I had some people copy it and import it into Cricut Design Space. And I also had people copy it and reprint it and were selling it. I don't like the dishonesty because this is my hard work. And for them to be profiting off of it, it is very hurtful. So I've held off on the, the eyelash stamps. And I'm sure that when Marjorie Ann gets it all, it, well, no, it's not a bummer because Marjorie Ann's going to work on something for you guys. And then there will be legal recourses when you purchase the file that you guys aren't allowed to do what these other people did. That way, then she doesn't have to take them down. And it's just getting, it's going to be a little bit, it's a long process, but Marjorie Ann has something in her brain and it's going to come to fruition. Just be patient. So yes, um, this here, the tea ruler, if you have a photo mat, this is my daughter. Hmm. Give me a sec. I did not know I was picking up that paper. <laughs> That's my nephew. He committed suicide on the day my dad died, which was three days ago. <laughs> I'm sorry. Shit. <sighs> oh, God. He was 21. He's only a couple of months older than my daughter. My daughter and I had to have the talk, you know, because as you guys know, I deal with that. My daughter's faced suicidal thoughts since the accident. And the doctor said it's because basically the chemical imbalance from the brain injury. I did not know that picture was there. I sent it to my mom because she wanted pictures. Mm. Sorry about that, guys. Give me just a moment. Oh. Yipes. <sighs> All right. So this tea ruler. Oh, that was not expected. I thought I put it back where it went and it was turned upside down. I actually, I'm not going to flip this one over because I don't want to start crying again. Um, my mom's asked for pictures of whatever I had for him so she could send them to my ex-sister-in-law um ooh, did not plan on that god i'm so dumb sorry so the tea ruler what it does is it allows you to get this thank you guys sorry um it allows you guys to line up your paper your photo mat and this would be a 12 by 12 but you can center your photo mats a lot easier with a T ruler. I also have a laser ruler. Let me get under my desk. I gotta get my mind off that. And it, I just, I feel so bad for my brother and my sister-in-law, like, because I deal with that with my daughter. And it, it uh, there's nights I go in and check on my daughter several times. And I just, Wow. Sorry, Nanas. What do you mean? 
I pulled out the picture often and I started crying. Um, can you do me a favor, baby? Yeah. I'm trying to get my bearings together. Can you get under there and get the other part of this? It looks like this. It's under there. So we are memory keepers has this it is a laser it's like a tea ruler it's a laser ruler and it has this here but what happens is it has an l bar so the other piece clicks onto this like this my arm's not straight i don't know okay it's under there you just have to look i think it's on the middle shelf it just got buried when dad pulled out the crick cut um and you adjust these and what will happen is your lasers are going to line up. It has a mat that goes to it as well that breaks in half. My daughter's looking for it. I don't use it very much just because I haven't gotten back into my layouts, but I took it out. That way I could start reusing it. It runs off batteries. Um, gosh, my, I can't believe I did that. Sorry, guys. That was not on purpose because I wasn't even going to say anything. That I'm very private. A couple people know about it just because... You can't find it. It's okay. Don't move everything. Otherwise, yeah, because dad has everything kind of shuffled under there since he pulled the cricket out. So I just, I don't broadcast my personal life, I guess, you know, like that. And that's part of why when everything came about with the drama, it wasn't supposed to ever involve anybody else. I just, I don't like that crap. And so with my nephew, yeah, I wasn't thinking when I put the picture there. I just, I guess I put it over there when, um, I was done just so I remembered to put it back and I went to show you guys how to use a tea ruler. So with eyelashes, let's refocus here. What you're gonna do is very light strokes and you can go straight in order to learn. And I don't know, can I zoom in on this? Oh, I can. Oh, I love my camera. Do they have a color lot change and the color is not be the same from the pack to pack? Um, only if you're at the end. Thank you, Jennifer. Cheryl, only if you're at the end of the ream. Um, you're, it's only going to be maybe two to four pages, I've noticed. Because when I ordered the 5,000 sheets of peach, I probably had 50 that were a little off. They're um, very much on spot with um, continuous paper, uh, colors. They're pretty good about pulling out the end of the batch when the ink starts fading, um, or changing. They're pretty good about not dispensing those or selling those as a pack. I don't know if they just rename the pack. Now I'm just showing you guys that you guys can go, actually, no, let's go back to where I was before I decided to have my emotional breakdown. And after this, I'm going to have to text my mom to see how she's doing because my mom's taking it really hard. Um, you can do just the bottom lashes. So what I do is I kind of just go, I try to go straight across. And it's with a light hand. And that's a little crooked. And this is why I use a pencil. And I use a light hand is because the white eraser does not fade your cardstock. And I usually start with that eye, so that way I can then go down and do it. <clears throat> so I just fix it as I go, and I'll keep retracing until I get it as even as possible. And I start with this, even though that's still off. My eyes are a little blurry, guys. Sorry, just foggy. That's what they are from the tears. All right, that's a little more even. And we're going to do just the three lashes on the bottom and be done with it. And then I do my next one up and the same thing on the bottom. So basically a V. And then I smooth them out and round them out. I just do the V and I'll shrink them once I lay the eyes over. Let's get eyes that are, do I have one that's already done? I Let me, no, I glued them all down. Oh my gosh. So after I lay my eye down, then I start erasing depending on how long I want it. And that is how I adjust it. But three lashes, that looks scary. 
let's not do that. That looks scary. I don't, I don't know why that looks so, he looks like, that eye looks like it could go to a Chucky doll. So if you're wondering what the blue circles are, this is so I can pull them all off my mats and start gluing them together to have them ready to go on days I don't want to mess with eyes. And I know that my blue dots go on the left. That way, because you have a left eye and a right eye, and it's just because of the way one side is rounded and one is a little more flat. And I put it on the back. That way, then I know that that is my left eye. My right eye has nothing. And this is just something I do because I don't want to trace the eyes and then end up gluing them down to the wrong side. But that is just three lashes, and you'll go over it with a pen. Um, do you cut these out on Cricut? If so... All right, so with the blades, yes, I do cut out everything on a Cricut. And here is a fun, fun, money-saving, let me dig it out. It's behind my screen. I just don't want to hit everything when I'm on my tippy toes. You know, I'm pretty tall for a woman, but I'm still short, if that makes sense. I mean, I'm five foot six, and I was always taller than most of my friends, but I'm still too short to reach over the dream box table. <clears throat> Blades from Amazon. When I first started ordering these, I didn't know what the yellow and the blue were, so I ordered the even pack. Don't do that. Don't do it. You only need the red ones. And I can put the link on the comments to the face on my Facebook. I will put the link to these for Amazon. You get 80 blades for $11. And I use the red ones. The blue ones, I don't know what they're for. It gives the degrees and I know that there are something. Um, the blue, I believe, is for your paper. The red is for cardstock and then... Um, the yellow are for your deeper cuts, so thin chipboard, really thick textured cardstock, but I use the red on everything. I just change the settings in my Cricut Cut to accommodate what I'm cutting out. And if you're wondering what they're in, this is a gum case because, you know, that the strips of gum, because I just didn't want blades all over the place because they actually come in here. But I collect them, so I never run out. And each blade cuts out five to a thousand pieces. All right, We Are Memory Keepers has a mini laser square and the large. I like my mini one. I did get the mini from Tuesday morning, so not sure if mini is available elsewhere. You know, I might end up with the mini because that big one, it's good for my 12 by 12. But when I'm doing like my little pieces, like my photo mats, that stuff drives me nuts because it's so big compared to the area compared to the area that I'm working on. All right, so let's go ahead and use a micron pen. And we're going to let these dry after we trace them before we erase. That way we don't smear anything. So now we're going to do eyes on the other side. And eyelash videos, they seem to be a really big thing and then I can show you guys how to detail the eyes if you want to see how I do it. Um, this is, I'm not done, but I can finish this up real quick. Um, and I can show you guys what I use. It's nothing fancy, but I know a lot of you guys want your stuff to look similar to mine. I am okay with that. It does not offend me. I had somebody ask if they could use my eyelash stamp and sell their pieces. I am okay with that. Like, I want you guys to scrapbook. I and one that doesn't the only thing is I do not want you know my eyelash stamp being profited off because that was my oops I just had a tremor and I'll scratch that off it's fine oh good that one too my hands are shaking just because of my little mini meltdown there we'll clean that up so when that happens there's two ways to clean it up you can let it dry and scratch it off or, here comes my favorite tool. I know, my husband always tells me don't share everything. Keep stuff to myself. Yeah, 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 I know. It, it does. They, it, the eyes and the eyes make or break a file. And that's why I'm pretty consistent with the eyes I use. So I'm just going to clean that up because I went too big 
on this one as well. And then I'll just chalk over it once it dries. And right there. And I know you guys probably want to see what's in my hand, so I will show you. And I'm just shrinking this one so I can redo it because it's too much. All right. $4.49. Faber-Castell. It's a pit artist pen in the color black, noir. And it says B on it. That is how I, and then I erase the black. Well, I just erased my chalk pencil mark. And that's fine. That's easy to fix. Um, I erased the black so the shininess goes away. And that's it. You guys have seen now how I fix my screw-ups on my eyes. I still make mistakes. And my trimmers, as you saw, I jerked. I can't control those. That is from the fusion in my neck. And they only did the injections on my low back today, so my spasms are pretty bad. And that's why my hands are real shaky today. Now, as far as gel pens that got asked, um, a lot of messages. Yep, there goes another one. I'm going to have to shrink that later. This is why I don't play with eyes when I'm real shaky. Um, gel pens. So, the one that I found that works best, and I just didn't see it, otherwise I would have grabbed it. It is this one. It's a Uniball Signo UM153. I got the silver, the gold, and the white pack. These are so vibrant and bright. Let me show you guys on a piece of paper. Look at this. This is just so... I love this. And these... But the problem is they're very... This is like a 1.0. Yeah, it's a 1.0. And I don't always need a 1.0. I need the 08 for my usual, like the nose on Franklin, and a 05 for the small dots. But let me just show you the difference here. Oh, there we go. You're going to get a lot more out of that one, plus it's a lot brighter. So it's up to you guys. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to look on Amazon once I hop off here. Um... Because I would like the smaller one just to line things up. All right, back to the eyelashes. So here's what it looks like erased. Let me. And I mean, it's not a perfect job just because I'm showing you guys and my eyes were a little blurry. Oh, let's do it in pencil on the other side. Oh, and chalk pencils. You can use any chalk pencil. These ones, uh, Master's Touch, Fine Art Studio, this one, I don't know. It just says pastel. Um, this is the other one that I use all the time. Fabric Castell. It's a 101. Oh, thank you, Sherry. Yeah, it was, I was not intending on anybody knowing outside the few people that knew. Just because that's, you know, it's a, it's a family thing. And I mean, nobody knows. My mom didn't even know what I went through in 2019. And I mean, I'm just, I'm very quiet about my life. <clears throat> I just, I don't know, but not a lot goes on in my life to have to share. I, I guess that's just, you know how you always have that one person on your Facebook that you have to unfollow and unfriend because they complain about every argument they have with their spouse or their boyfriend or their girlfriend or their wife or how much their kids are on their last nerve. Like I've never seen the point of doing that. I think because a nurse as a nurse, I had so many patients requesting to follow me. Not that I would let them, but I was always afraid that they would see my personal business. Um, sorry, I'm just looking to see if it was delivered. No, I just don't want anybody taking my stamps. They just tell me labels created, but I don't know what I ordered. So now for the other eyelashes, if you're going to start at the top, let's see, how can I turn this where you guys can see it? And I know that's really close in my my hands. So when I do it, I try to get them even as far as from one side to the other. And the pencil just gives you more power to control where you want them and erase. And I'm not going to make them this big. I'm just over embellishing so you guys can see them. Um, we're going to erase them when we're done. But they're normally not looking like what did you say, Lisa? Lana Turner? Is that whose eyelashes? She's, I don't know who she said, but it was funny. I had to Google who the person was. 
It was probably from that whatever Smokey Bandit show she was talking about. But yeah, um, these are just over exaggerated just so you guys can see them. But I go down. So one, two, three, four, five. So we'll give it one more. And then usually I don't keep going. I just do two little ones here. And they're separated, they're way spaced apart, just so you guys can see. And I can pull another head out and do them closer just to show you. I just don't want them bunched together where I normally have them because you guys aren't gonna be able to see the erase marks. And this head I'm not gonna use for anything anyways. It's just to give you guys the concept of how I started doing eyelashes and what worked for me. And I usually would not go down this far. I would have stopped right about here. But it's so you guys can see. And then we're going to let them dry. And it only takes a moment to dry. And the reason I say the Micron pen is because you can erase it and you're not going to smear them. But look at that. So does Franklin have full eyelashes? Actually, no. He has eyes that are shaped like his nose. And three lashes work perfect. And I've actually done a couple of them. If you scroll through some of my older posts, this is his actual eye. And it's the same as his nose almost. Well, I think they're a little bit smaller. But his, my tremors are fun today. They're actually smaller than this. But they're this shape. They're just smaller. They're probably about half that size. But this is going to be the shape of the actual um, eye that comes with the Franklin file. Um, I know Marjorie Ann has been made aware and read your comments about wanting more eye shapes available. I don't know what she's doing with that. Hopefully she'll let us know. And my eyes are really shaky just because my tremors and because I'm just having tremors today. And this is why I wouldn't do eyelashes on a day like today. Now, let's say that you get comfortable. I'm just going to show you guys the difference, bringing them closer together, going halfway down. And we're going to just touch. This is going closer together. That one is because that's the V. That's why it crosses over. But it's just going to be a comfort level with you guys continuously doing it. And I recommend doing it on a smooth piece of paper first. And then transitioning over to cardstock to the textured paper because the smooth paper, you can at least get the hang of, you know, your little swoop for the eyelash or your straight line before you go. Cause textured cardstock is very difficult when you're first beginning. So the other part is you can do it on the back of your paper. And what I did is I took a piece of paper and I traced probably a hundred eyes, as many that would fit on there that I had room for my lashes to do. And that's what I did just because I had a little bit of the texture, but I was getting used to the smooth part first. So after, now, as you guys see, I brought these into the mix, showing you guys what I use to do the eye details and other people are using it in their videos. So you guys have seen these a lot. These are false eyelash glue applicators. And... What I do is I dip them into my pastel. I just shake off the excess because I don't want it all over. And let's do the, the side that's not looking drunk. And I just go around it. That's it. And generally, I don't know where my spoon is. I use my spoon to set my chalk because, but be careful doing it because you will sometimes smoothen out your textured cardstock so don't go super hard oh i forgot all about my, my lunch it's up there so grab your spoon and your piece of paper it's going to be this side oh i don't want to stick it in the sticky stuff and you're just going to go around in circles putting your finger there and this sets your chalk there's a very faint line. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's super faint, but that's all that came off. And that just keeps it where you can now touch it and it's not going to be smearing all over. Because generally, if you touch it, it'll smudge. Let me show you the other side without setting it. Oh, I don't need 
need to get the excess off just because I've already done it. That was just because it was the first use and I went in there really hard. And using this also helps set it because you're actually rubbing it into the, but yeah. See, now I have smears, but that's why you set your chalk. You see the difference there, you guys? But I, I've i learned this over years of trial and error. And I just want things to go smooth for you guys. Because scrapbooking is very rewarding and very fun. But it's not fun when you don't have help or the knowledge or the tools or the resources. And for me, like I said, YouTube was just launching when I, well, YouTube had been launching, I should say. Um, but in 2003, when I started scrapbooking, there you weren't going to find much. You weren't going to find much at all. And this is what it looks like when it's done. And so now we're just trying, a lot of us are trying to give you guys the tools so you can be more comfortable paper piecing. So let's put Franklin together. Oh, the other thing. Work smarter, not harder. I don't want to take those all out right now. Let me take the heads out. I am going to show you guys something else. I'm going to tell you guys and show you guys something. So, oh my gosh, I just took all the heads out of my buckets. I hope they don't get mixed up because they're all different. Nope. So, I do all my heads and faces at one time, and I do not ink them until the last, until the last, 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 last bit. Because if I screw up the eyelashes, I do not want to waste my ink. This stuff is not cheap. This stuff is expensive. So, I do my lashes. I do not detail the eyes, meaning the chalk around my line, until... My eyelashes are where I want them to be, and then I ink the head, and then I detail my lashes. Because I would rather just throw out a piece of paper that is not inked, that I have not done lashes for. If you notice, it looks like this. But we just wouldn't have done the black part um, shading. We would have went around. Let me move this because I'm using an old, an older, I'll show you the difference. So let me move that. So it's gonna slough off because it's old, I haven't changed it, but I will ink it first. And I know a lot of you guys don't know about inking as far as you're new to it. You're gonna find a position that feels good to you and works for how you want it to look. There are a lot of people that ink on video, I hate this noise. This noise annoys the H-E-double-L -L out of me. And that's why if I do ink in the video, I'll do a voiceover just so you guys don't have to hear the click, 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 click. Plus, for some reason, we lose train of thought and we don't talk while we're inking. And it's dead silence. And I just get annoyed by that even when I do it because I'm sitting there and I'm thinking about everything else except what I'm doing. So... I got the eyelashes on, then I'll go around and ink, and then I will add the detail around the eyes before I glue my eyes down. Because there's no sense of wasting the ink if you're going to have to throw the head out because you screwed up the eyelashes. Now, finger dauber. Yes, I write the colors on them. And if I like how clean that I can read, um, now that I realize that's crunchy leaf and not crunch leaf, I'm going to throw this one out. I have... All different colors. They do sell them in bags on Amazon. Oh, not me hitting the table. Um, they come in pink, purple, yellow. I have green and blue over there. I have different shades of pink. And what I do is I write on them. That way I know what color it is because I don't want to mix my ink colors. Sometimes I intentionally mix them, but Generally, I try to keep it because I don't want to dip into my pad. Now for a finger dauber, it's going to be the same concept. It's however, and it's going to go on different on a smooth piece than it is on um, a textured piece. But the lighter or harder, and I'm getting softer as I go, just so I can show you guys like the difference when 
the pressure is changed and the angle. So this is going harder. You're going to get more of that aggressive, abrasive, dark tone. And the lighter you hold your finger dauber, the lighter your edge is going to get. And I also don't recommend holding it this way because I know you guys have sent me some screenshots of some stuff that you've seen and you ask how. It is because they are holding it, hold on, this way. That's why it looks like that. They're holding it and going this way. I, if you want your stuff to look like that, go for it. No right or wrong way. But when you guys send me the messages and ask, how do they get it to look like that? It's how you're holding your finger dauber. You want to hold it at a slight 30 degree angle and you just want to touch the side corner. That's it. Otherwise, you're going to get that. And that's not very attractive, is it? Not for me. It looks like I just got in a fight with my ink pad or I took it and went like that. But if there are some pieces that you are going to go in further to. So that's where you're going to adjust, adjust your wrist and the way that you're holding your dauber. So I do all of my eyes at the same time, my eyelashes. And then I go back and ink. And so <clears throat> what I did is I grab one set. I write the number one and a number one. Here's my number two, and that's not necessarily the bear in the, the program. That is just the, so I know which head goes to which body if they are different um, stances for sitting, standing, you know, a peeker bear, whatnot. That way, if they're different shapes, I'm not going to mix my heads up. But the face and the heads are half the battle, but this is number four. And I just match it and I write it on the back. So that way then I don't, one, mix up my head, and two, I can knock out all the eyelashes. So if I'm having a good day, let's get all the eyelashes done. If I'm having a bad day, those heads are going to be the last thing I do until my tremors stop. And today is just a little shakier than usual. Now for your chalks, this pan pastel, let me give you the color because I know I get asked, but it's on the bottom. It is not on that one. I think I pulled the sticker off because I have them stacked. Um, this one's black, and then the other is dark gray. So, and it just depends on what I'm doing. I just open one because they're both so dark, it doesn't matter. I just don't go over it several times because I don't want them looking like Avril Lavigne did in the 90s with, you know, all that extra um, smoky eye. I just don't want them that dark. I want them light and soft because I want Franklin to keep his soft face. So now paper for Franklin and for your bears and your gingerbread. Let's talk about that and then we're going to glue him together and move on because I still haven't eaten. Here's your choice. Here's Encore. Um, I ordered brown sugar and I also ordered hazelnut. This was a little rough for me because I didn't really know which way to go yet, but I am using brown sugar for my Franklin's because it looks really nice with the crunchy leaf. Once it, once it dries, let me give you a piece that's dried. So the crunchy leaf gives it a nice finish around it. Um, that's the Encore options because I got asked that since caramel is what we're so used to using. And then for the inner ears, I usually was using the color Blush by American Crafts. And I have switched over to this one here. Let me open it. So you have a choice. It depends on how much, if you do go with the pink, unless you go with the lighter, the brown. Um, this one is Flamingo by Encore, and this one is Pink Champagne. And the pink champagne works for me better because it's a little darker for the color that I went around it in. 
and that was going to be Plastic Flamingo. So it's really up to you and I go a lighter hand with this and I mix it with the ballet slipper. So it's really going to be your preference. And then for his muzzle, let's go to the light brown. So instead of straw, it's going to be straw hat. That's really the only difference. They're so similar and that's what I liked, but they're more affordable. And sand is, I think I use sand and straw. It just depends on whichever one I cut out of. Um, but since I use both, some are lighter, some are darker, because I have a bunch cut out in straw and a bunch cut out in sand, um, the straw hat works perfect. And that's Encore. It, it is, yes. It cuts so much better. And the papers, uh, the colors are just, they're, they have a softer effect to them, and I don't know why. And that's why I started falling in love with them. But if you guys knew how I could probably open my own scrapbook store to sell paper with how much paper I have in my house. And I can't just convert all of my Encore and coordinations or my American Crafts and coordinations since it's the same line from all the years I've collected and just start with Encore. So I've been slowly buying Encore to replace the paper that I'm low on. And we are going to glue this little guy together. <clears throat> I just have to find it because I shrunk it. There we go. I shrunk him. So this is the little guy sitting down. That's a whole lot for the video. Let's, I want to do the other one though. I'm going to put him back in the bucket. So I went and pre-inked everything just because I was trying to save time knowing that I wanted to cover more of the details of... Which one is it? There we go. I really like him, so I want to see the difference on which one I want to use for these. But um, this is a standing one with the ice cream. Let me zoom out a little just so you guys can see that. All right. I knew that I wanted to cover more of just the things that I've learned over time. Did you mention earlier that you have replacement ink? Yes. I went with Lawn Fawn because it is going to be but memento now it depends on what your budget is and that was something else that i didn't cover sorry i have tons of these they're full of my lawn fun if your budget does not allow for you to spend i spent almost a thousand dollars on ink guys it's not cheap the refill packs were 79 dollars, and you only got so many in that refill pack i know I know. Well, my husband has a very good job, okay? And I get a very good retirement, but not everybody is in that realm of comfort. So I also like to cut corners. Oh, my son. Um, sorry, my son. He's in the UK messaging me, texting. Um, cut corners cost-wise, but I don't want to cut corners with quality. So... Memento is going to be, I have tons of Memento and I have my little cat's eyes. I just have to find them. Um, well, I don't have to find them. I just have to grab them, but they're over yonder. Memento is going to be your affordable way to go. And the reason I say that is Hobby Lobby does 40% off every third week on their Memento packs and you can get the whole pack. Or you can go to Joann's or Michael's and use their 40 or 50% off coupon depending on the week. And take your kid with you like I do and have her check out somewhere. And I go check out in another lane and I leave with buy one, get one free. Both half off. Yeah, yeah, I know. But it just, there's been times that, you know, when I was by myself, I could afford everything and I was comfortable. But now I'm just more comfortable having my husband where I could afford that thousand dollar upfront to get it and not have to do it in chunks where I'm like, oh my gosh, with the what ifs. So depending, I know I have a lot of you guys on disability or limited income or no income. I mean, I have a lot of retired housewives that are here no longer, you know, raising kids and trying to find stuff to pass the time. The Memento little teardrops, cat's eyes from Hobby Lobby, Joann's and Michael's, you use a coupon or with Hobby Lobby, you go in, their sales rotate on every third week. So if you don't see it this week, 
and you don't see it next week, it will definitely be on the following week. And that's how I replace my inks, and I don't even mess with inkers, the re-inkers for my mementos. Um, let me show you what they look like. And I'm just trying to give everybody options because it is expensive. It is. And that's not counting. I spent over $1,000 on Catherine Pooler ink and re-inkers because I got the big pads, the little pads, the inks. And that was when I was first getting into it. And that I have regrets. So these are um, the Memento Cat's Eyes Teardrops. I, I think I say Cat's Eyes because this will show you guys how long I've been scrapbooking because they're discontinued and I still have them. Color box chalk. Does anybody remember the cat's eyes? So teardrops. Now these are going to be your fade resistant inks. <coughs> Excuse me. It's up to you guys if you want to do the re-inkers or just replace them. If you do have color box chalk, chalk, color box chalk inks, they are archival and scrapbook safe. So you are absolutely fine. Um, but these are going to be your go-to for starting. Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby. Because then I'm not limited to what I can get by one coupon. And if my kid doesn't want to go, if she's had a bad night or she's in a mood, I can just be like, nah, bye. And also not be rushed or Herbie, can we go now? Uh, we, you said you were coming in for one thing. Yeah, I have one of them. But um, these two, Hobby Lobby is my best friend because it's only a mile away from my house. Joanne's is two miles and Michael's is a mile and a half. All three are on the freeway on ramp, off of the freeway on ramp for me. But Distress Ink is fade resistant, not the Oxide, just his Distress Ink. And Lisa did show me that he makes um, a refresher spray, so you don't always have to re-ink. You can bring them back to life. Um, just look for his, I forgot what it's called. She showed me, and I would know if I seen it, but it comes in a spray bottle, but it's clear. This is my glass cleaner that's ammonia free. This is what I clean my glass with. I've showed you guys that. Um, it is called Method Glass Cleaner. I get it from Target. I know that they have it at Amazon and other places. Um, but it's so safe. One for your lungs, two for your pieces, three for your hands because it's ammonia free. And it gets the ink off your fingers. Um, but these two are going to be your go-to for starting with inking. Yeah, and I have my water one in case I don't want to use it. But it's a refresher or something, and it is by Tim Holtz. Uh, Ranger and he does it so if your pads are drying and one thing Lisa did tell me because the fabric pads were new to me because Catherine Pooler's are foam um, store them upside down so the ink doesn't settle especially if they're starting to dry out you want to store them upside down because that brings the ink to the surface for you that way also you're not smashing you know your finger dauber in which also wears down your finger daubers a lot faster but these two are going to be where you want to start if you're getting into ink and save money and have good quality. All right, let's glue this little guy together. So for Franklin, it's always gonna be the same. The only thing is if you wanna start at the ears or the legs. I start from the bottom and work my way up. And I cut him out at the width of 9.5 in Quick Cut Design Space, and it auto-adjusted my height. So let me make sure I'm in screen here. Yeah, the camera's above, and I didn't know that my camera zoomed in and out because I'm not on my phone. My phone's over there. Um, now, a way that I sent, set a mental record, mental note, if you guys want to do it, the rounded part does not go on the right leg. The rounded goes on the left. Oh, let me know. Well, double check it to make sure that, you know, it's archival or permanent and scrapbook safe. You want acid and lignin-free because that's another huge thing. You do not want your inks to dye your pictures or your pages. So just keep that in mind. There is no right or wrong. Just be safe, especially with new inks. Because y'all, I'm thinking about letting go of a lot of my inks. Does anybody remember these? I have hundreds of these and the re-inkers. Let's, let's not. I just, yeah, I, found out Stampin' Up! is not archival either, so, and I went and made my husband dig in the garage and got that box, and those totes, and uh, the 
20 gallon or 50 gallon totes. And I feel really bad that I made him do that. So the right goes on the left side, or the round goes on the left side. I always have to remember right, uh, right is not round. And that's how the difference of the legs look. You got one round and one square. And there is a minute difference in size, but it also helps with making sure that your foot, um, well, his foot, Franklin's foot, doesn't end up um, showing any of the cardstock on the bottom. Yes, well, it's not archival, so it's not necessarily safe for long-term. It's fine for card use. That's why I still have it. Um, it is perfect for card use. But if you're going to scrapbook with it, just be careful because it does fade and it also has the chance to bleed. And I did not know that. I found out all that when I... Hi, baby. Puppy's coming up. Yeah. I'm talking to everybody. You good? No. Do what you got to do. They know that I'm married and I have a life and I have puppies and a bratty daughter and yeah. He's getting ready to take my daughter to her best friend's house. Well, our daughter to her best friend's house. And he always wants to check on me. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> what happened? You talking? That's my little girl. She talking. So, yeah. Uh, with your rounded one, it goes on the left. And that's why I like the thigh gap. Girl, you can make this up to 24 inches tall using the 24 inch mat. I did it for a friend for her desk because, and I made a Nurse Bear Franklin. Um, I made Nurse Bear Franklin, no, I'm sorry, I made him 22 inches tall for her. And you could actually go bigger than that um, and 48 inches tall because I did that, but let's not. Um, I cut his, no, he wasn't, he was 46 inches 20, 44 inches because I cut him at his waist was the 22 inch mark and the body covered my seam so you can go big or go home and now with um hubby's been letting me look at that new Cricut machine that has that non-stop roll and it's on the stand it's about three thousand dollars um it's the new one I don't know what it's called but he let me he showed it to me the other day and asked if I wanted it um, I don't think there's a height stop on that one because it's on a roll. As long as the smart paper is, if you got a five foot roll, you can make him five feet tall. So after the legs and Franklin is glued together the same way every time, except if he's in a different position. Um, these are all going to be glued the same in the same order. Um, the only thing is if he's sitting, the legs get glued on last. Is it the Vantage? Yeah. He showed me the other day and asked if I wanted it. So, but, oh, bye. Love, bye. You. Love you. Text me when you get there, baby. I um, I'm definitely, but I don't know, like, I don't really make anything that big. And, but he makes banners. So I'm looking for my feet. There we go. So we're going to do the legs and the feet. If he's sitting, the way that the, the sitting effect takes place is... It would go the body, the feet, and then the legs. But otherwise, your legs are always going to go on first, and then your feet, the body, and the ears. And I am still in frame. Okay, I'm just making sure. But uh, I love Franklin, and Franklin is very easy. I did um, start with Franklin's. That's actually, ironically... What pushed me to apply for Marjorie Ann's design team, because I had never done a design team before, was her Franklin Bears. I wanted to be part of that, and I'm so thankful. She's become a good friend, and she's my go-to person when I don't want to bother hubby because he's sleeping. And there's some things like when I got my biopsy results, I couldn't do that to him on the phone and then expect him to drive home from work, so I called her. My mom was out of reception on she's got that little I don't know what it's called it's not an ATV a ranger rain I don't know. what does mom have what's that thing called uh, shut up Brianna no it's called uh, uh, it's like a doom buggy I know it's like a doom buggy uh, but what's it called okay we're all having uh, brain farts and stuff. K 
Can-Am. There you go. Brianna's like a GMC. You didn't even let me finish, child. I thought she meant her car. No. No Z. What did we talk about yesterday? Uh-huh. I <laughs> love you guys. I'm not going to be able to annoy you for 24 hours. Can you stay gone for 48 so I get a real good break? Um, I can come back Wednesday morning. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> She was sitting there sticking her tongue out at me. That's why I told her shut up. In a joking manner. I'm not mean to my kid. That's why she came over and kissed me on the forehead. Because she didn't want to interrupt before she left. She will not leave without kissing me and telling me she loves me. So, um, my mom has a Can-Am and was off in the mountains somewhere. And so, Marjorie Ann was my next go-to. And I'm very thankful that I've gotten a lot of friendships and bonds with a lot of you guys. We've become friends over doing scrapbooking and crafting. And I know a lot of people, uh, I wish you lived closer. Well, what about if maybe we do a Zoom or, because a Zoom, I think we can get quite a lot of people in there, you know, and do it like on a Friday night. Oh, good news, you guys. You know, they say that people that, you know, are unhappy with their life, it reflects, I'm very happy with my life. My husband is so good to me and he just got a new job, you guys. You guys know he's a heavy machine mechanic. Living in California is very expensive. Um, we're looking at buying our first home together. And we've been married for almost four years now. We dated for, I've known him for years and years and years and years. And him and my daughter, they ended up, their bond, it's our daughter. He always corrects me. I say my daughter because I was a single mom for eight years because I didn't want to bring men around my children or my daughter being so young and it being... Just on erring on the side of caution, I guess. So that being said, I was very just cautious with it. And I didn't want to let anybody in. Plus, you know, I didn't want her heart broken, not just mine. Because they feel what we feel. So if, you know, a man leaves us, they're leaving our kids too. And I just, I was fine working my butt off. I worked two full-time jobs and made sure that, you know, they had no needs or wants. And when I met my husband... Um, I was a little leery. I'm not going to lie. My husband is a felon. Stupid decision, mistake when he was in his 20s. He's now, he's younger than me. I'm 44 and he is 38. He, he'll be 39 this year. Yeah. Yeah, because he'll be 40 next year. And, um, did I cut these out? backwards and the colors I did they don't match the picture oh Marjorie Ann. or did I mix up my buckets what happened oh no I have the wrong bucket I was just kidding I was gonna say you got me all right we're doing the little one holding the ice cream um anyhow he is um a heavy machine mechanic and a foreman works for the union but he just got his CDL so he's moving on up um, the CDL was because a lot of the company trucks, he's got to be able to get into him to drive them and to move them around. So, and that just gave him a huge pay bump, but he will be gone for a little bit, uh, longer than usual as far as a day at work. Um, he won't be home because generally he leaves in the morning while I'm sleeping and he's home by noon. And now he's going to leave a little later but get home later in the evening. But that's fine. Well, that just leaves me more time to go live during the day. So with the Franklin, they're always legs, feet, body, and then I do the ears. If you do the ears and the ear pads first, make sure you do the legs and then the body and the feet. But I do it the same way every time so I don't screw up. And I went with a deeper red. Let me... I left all my papers out for you guys, except that one because I had to replace it. That way I could give you guys the colors of what I use. Um, because I know a lot of you guys want your pieces to look similar to mine, and I love that. That's, I'm looking for where I put it. I had to change my paper on my mat because I had used it all and that one is basil pomegranate and I went around it with lawn fawn chili pepper and then I dipped it into where is 
is my soot. I gave Lisa a breakdown of it yesterday. Sometimes red fades and you got to be careful. Like it looks really dark going on, but then the more you use it and it dries, it ends up where you, it doesn't look like you inked it. So that's where sometimes I will take an extra dauber and it says chili soot. It's so I know that I mix into both. And so I don't contaminate my pads. I dip them on my glass and then I pick them up. I do not double dip from one to the other because I don't want to ruin my pads. But, and then for the blue, I used American Crafts Blue Jay, but they also have Encore Gray Blue. And no, I lied. I didn't use Blue Jay. I used the Gray Blue from Encore because that's the um, pant color that I used on my little chef's. So this Franklin is the one holding the ice cream and Franklin, once you learn the, the way of piecing one, they are all going to be very similar. Your kids are going to be the same. You're always going to start with the legs and the pants. That's going to go down 99.9% .9 of the time first. And then you'll do the soles and the shoes, the shirt, if it has a body or a neck, and then the shirt. Um, make sure you have a bone folder. Bone folders are a huge thing because it evenly distributes your glue. Barely art glue if you're new. And then you can use art glitter glue if you're not new or if you're comfortable being new using it. Barely art is actually in here. It gives you a little bit more time to shift your piece if you screw up where you glue it. Why do I not have little boy's hat? Okay, there we go because I embossed them all at the same time and I just threw it on the wrong bucket. But there's only one blue hat, so I knew whose it was. Um, I embossed the blue and the red with a folder from Amazon and that has little hearts on it, you guys. Can you see that? The itty bitty hearts, they're so cute. But embossing, um, the video that I just did, it makes it look all the difference, adding a little bit more detail. And I was debating using mulberry paper. I'm still debating doing another set using mulberry paper. Um, I make my own mulberry paper. I save my scraps. You can actually watch YouTube videos. There was um, um, some people that went ahead and did a whole video on the process. So I have all the screens and everything and I make my own mulberry paper. Um, oh. Miss Wanda, what you're going to do for your, do not, unless you're dying for name brand Sizzix, if you are, Hobby Lobby, look for when Sizzix goes on sale to buy your Sizzix embossing folders. Otherwise, I buy them from Amazon in packs. And I look for which packs have designs I want to use. So these ones in the black came in a six, six pack. That I was not crazy about, that's ugly. But to be able to use the other five, I'm happy with. I don't need the sixth one or I'll find something like a tree or a bush and use that to try to get away with it. Um, and then I got a couple more of the line packs. Those were just two. And this one, because I figured I could actually emboss the trees, you know, like the tree bushes with it. And Doris is a huge one. Um, I had to get this one specifically for my trees, and then I found another one after. I've been begging Marjorie to give us some more giraffe files because this will be so cute with a photo mat in a yellow. And then what I'll do is I'm going to ink the yellow or ink this brown and put my yellow matte uh, cardstock in there and then run it through that way it my spots are brown and that's a way that you can actually choose to emboss it without having to use the actual tool but i have hundreds of embossing folders you do not need name brand you just don't because they're all going to wear and tear it doesn't matter they have for card making look how cute this i don't know if you can see yeah you can I have to look at the reflection in there. Oh yes, Jennifer, I'm telling you. Um, so the Sizzix Texture Boutique TM embossing machine would be. 
I have um, the Sizzix Big Shot. And my husband just bought me the electric one. It's actually over by my window. I have yet to open it. Um, I have not opened it because my Big Shot works great. And because we're eventually going to buy a house, I just don't want to keep opening everything he's been buying me because I don't have room. So I live in a condo. This is where I've lived since we met. He moved out of his and moved in with me just because there was one of him and me and my kid, my youngest. And um, we uh, have outgrown it here. It's just, it's two bedrooms. We have a backyard, a garage, only one bathroom. And I don't know how many of you guys like sharing a bathroom with your husband, but it's not always smeller friendly. Um, but he bought me the new elect, well, it's not new, it's new to me, the electric one. It's new, but I don't mean it just came out. Um, I just haven't fussed with it because I don't have anywhere to plug it in right now. So it's going to end up down on the end of my dream box cart, way down yonder with my 12 by 12 card, um, cardstock. No, my 12 by 12 printer he bought me. And I had just gotten an Epson printer, but he found one that prints the 12 by 12s. So he bought me that one. It was $900 at um, Best Buy, if you guys are looking at it, um, considering a printer for it. Uh, for scrapbooking and I'm just like oh gosh one more I, I'm so thankful I don't want to sound ungrateful but I'm just like okay let's hold off on buying anything else because I don't have anywhere to put it and that's why my daughter was underneath my dream box looking she's like I don't know where anything is that's because my hubby had to move everything because um, my Cricut Maker 3 was under there my second one and he needed it so he could cut out the stuff to do his shirts but Sizzix the embossing machines are great Oh, I think somebody's here. Sorry, guys. Hey, Mouth, come here. You want to go in the backyard? Come here. Hold on, guys. Sorry. There's only one left. Hey. Hey. Shush. Shush. Hey. Sorry about that, guys. My package, my package of my other refillers came. So, um, yeah, Sizzix is going to be um, a really good brand. I've had my Big Shot for years. And before that, I had another one and uh, Sizzix, but it wasn't the Big Shot. It was just the small one. And I even had a Cuddle Bug, which I believe is by Sizzix. And I love it. Come here. Come here. Here. Say hi to everybody. Say, look, I'm, I'm the problem. Say, I'm the problem. All right, I'm fine. Thank you. Um, Sizzix has been around for a lot of years, and they're a good brand. But as far as, unless you want that exact textured um, folder, I wouldn't waste my time with the extra money because I would rather, and this is just me, I would rather get more folders and spend the same amount of money for less folders. But that's just me. I don't tell anybody what to do with their money. I'm just from years of collecting. I've learned not to be as reckless. Hey, I already got the mail. Goodness, does anybody want a teacup? She's a mess. Hey, no, there's nothing there. And I've even closed the blinds because anybody that drives down the street, they think they own a street and they're going to bark at them. All right. So now that we got Franklin on and his arms go on last. Sorry, guys. I had to get the door and everything else. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to put the muzzle on. And I am going to be hopping off here momentarily because I am starving and my food's been behind me since I started live. It just wasn't ready in time. Um... This Franklin set is so cute. I'm just, I love Franklin. And I, I hope you guys do too. Like Franklin is just, that is my little man. He's just adorable. And I accidentally closed a screen that I needed with the clip art. There we go. Only because of the ice cream. I want to make sure that I'm doing it right. So after we get the muzzle on, 
Yeah, they're they're a hot mess. Oh yeah. Oh no. My husband says if a fly passes gas and farts like to sputter along, the dogs are gonna let you know. And I'm like, yeah, I believe it. So Lisa laughs. She's like, oh, fly farts, and it's just because it's you. They. Oh my gosh. They're they're normally quiet and chill, and they say that like you know your dogs are a reflection of the owner. So if you're lazy, they're lazy. If you're calm, they're calm. You know, so on and so forth. And they normally lay around, but the nosy part of all the neighbors, that's my husband's doing because he's got to like look on the ring and see who drove past the house. And I'm just like, bro, it's not that serious. So for the cone, I did use the color peach. That was something else that I was going to point out to you guys. Changing the color you go around a piece of paper with makes all the difference. I went around it with the Memento peanut brittle instead of peach. Um, I think it's called peach fuzz. Hold on, let me see what my lawn fawn. I'm just now learning all my colors, guys. It is. So apricot is too too dark, but peach fuzz is what I go around with because I told you I've had to get rid of Catherine Puller since I was scared. And, and that's just me. I wouldn't ever list anything in my Etsy store that you guys would have to worry about it fading or bleeding into your pictures. So just buyer beware when you do buy other people's stuff. Look for that acid lignin free. And even if you need proof, like ask them because you wouldn't want your picture is getting ruined. So this is going around it with the peach fuzz. And this is going around it with the memento um, peanut brittle. Same color cardstock. It gives it just a different look. So if you guys aren't sure, play around with some different colors on cardstocks because that will change how a piece looks, believe it or not. And even for my yellows, like my sunflowers, I go around it with orange. I don't mess with yellows just because yellow on yellow is too much. And I like the golden color, so um, I go over it with orange. What do you got, Stinks? Huh? Yes, I love you, little girl, even though you're a barky mess. I think this goes this way. All right. So now we're going to put the pink down first. And that is just that little ruffle. I know the other piece that I showed you of the ice cream, that one goes to the one in a cup. And I am reading the comments as we go, but yeah, I'm, I love Marjorie and she's the sweetest person ever. And yeah, that's why I have no problem like sharing her files and getting you guys hooked on them like I am just because as a person, she's wonderful, but I'm all about supporting her small business. Like, and it's not just because I'm on the design team. I actually left the design team when all that crap happened because I don't have time for it. And Marjorie Ann was like, we're going to, you know, get through this and work past it. I will be your support system. And I'm not talking about the other crap that, you know, some of you guys know about. I'm talking about my the mass in my breast. And then I went into a lupus flare up and... Now I need low back surgery, but I'm not going to do it. I've already told the doctor I'm not going to do it until I can't walk. When I can't walk is when he will see the whites of my eyes. I'm just going to do injections for now. And she went in and numbed up my sciatica. I have several bulging discs in my lower back. And what happened was I had a 600, patient, 600 pound patient. Well, she was over 600 because um, the bed only read up to 600, the gurney. Um, she was in a motor vehicle accident and had a LOC, a loss of consciousness. When she came to, she did, was confused. So she had no idea where she was, what happened. She was in pain. She tried to sit up while being buckled down and managed to flip her gurney over, which a gurney already weighs a fortune, a, a ton. I don't know how many of you guys are in the medical field, but gurneys are heavy. And then you add a patient. I'm talking even a hundred pound patient. You can't lift that thing. My mom was a paramedic for many, many years and her back is no good from the gurney uh, lifting. Well, after all was said and done, the lady flipped the gurney and it fell my way and I tried to catch it out of reflex. Even though patients have the right to fall as a nurse, we know this. She was coming off of the helicopter um, from the, the telepad and stupid me. I almost messed that up. 
uh, tried to catch it out of reflex and I ended up herniating discs in my back and that's how my, my neck got broken. Well, that's how they got herniated, which led to my neck being broken, horse playing. Um, lessons were learned. That's why there's rules. But you tell me not to do it, I'm going to do it even in my late 30s. Yep, we were wrestling and he went to go throw me on the bed, not realizing I used to be 300 pounds. Now I'm maybe a buck 60. He went to throw me over the bed and, or throw me onto the bed. He threw me over the bed head first into the wall and that's how my neck got broke. And then I passed out later just because I have a pacemaker. And the way that I landed, I ended up, hey, she's barking at the leaves in the back, or growling at the leaves in the backyard now. Thanks. I think she read your comment, LOL. <laughs> um, but that's how I ended up completely fracturing it where I ended up with emergency surgery was I passed out. My pacemaker settings were not adequate enough and my heart rate kept dropping and just in between my SVTs, it didn't correct fast enough. I had a syncopal episode in my kitchen and the way I hit my head, I shattered the herniated discs and lost use of my left arm actually. But the emergency surgery gave me the use back of my arm. I can't lift it over my head without using my right arm to lift it, but it was a dead arm. So a little bit's better than nothing, right? I just didn't get my feeling back into it. And this is it for Franklin, guys. He goes together so cute. Once you put all the inking and the eyelashes and, you know, the details in, he goes together smoothly once you've done him over and over and over. Like, you just can't go wrong with Franklin. And he's so freaking cute along with Franny. I'm telling Marjorie, give us all Franklin. Like, we need a Franklin channel where it's just Franklin bears. I would just be in heaven. You guys would see so many files coming out of me. And our design team, I love our design team. They're so good. The girls really just, they think outside the box. And I really, I admire that. That pen is drying up on me. It's sat too long without the cap. Um, one of the girls is doing like the planner journal thing as well. And I really like that, you know, and... I just like seeing the creativity from everybody, and everybody's very nice. They're uh, just really, really sweet. I did that too dark, so we're going to clean that up. Um, it's only because I had to go over it twice with a second pen since my other one I left the cap off and didn't realize it, so i got to bring it back to life here by rubbing it on a, a damp paper towel. There we go. Yeah, I just had to soften that. So if you guys do end up buying these, you have to store them horizontally. Otherwise, they will leak or dry up. And it's written on the instructions, so you can't miss it. Let's go ahead and chalk up his nose. Oh, let me put my cap on. Um, I love Franklin. Yes, Wanda, and you can always message me. I'm going to, now that I've been getting the injections in my back, I am definitely going to be getting on live more since I can tolerate sitting up. This was my second one today, and I have a third one set for the 22nd. And then with my husband's hours changing, because I feel bad with him, you know, going in the garage or in the bedroom or whatever the case, I just, I feel bad. Plus the puppies. He does it to try to just let me have peace to teach you guys everything. Um, but I just don't want him cooped up. I just, yeah, I feel bad. So, and plus I love spending time with my husband. He's just ever so loving on me. and But if you need help, message me and I will try my best to help you. If not, I will try to find an answer because I don't like leaving anybody with unanswered questions. Um, this is a dual tip lip brush. This is what I use for shading. It's a huge thing for me. And my husband got me this. This is not cute, you guys. It's a 3D printed glue bottle holder. Yes, Dina, it, the file, I'm going to do the other three. Um, I just wanted to give everybody the basics of things that I use and, you know, little shortcuts that I've learned and taught myself over the many, many years of scrapbooking. Because I've seen a lot of videos where they just sit there and they glue or they ink. They're not very resourceful for you guys. 
they, you know, some of them are now getting in a better habit of telling you the color of this and that, but they don't explain all of the ins and outs and things that they've failed on and screwed up on and that they still screw up. I know I get a lot of questions about shading. I watched a couple videos on YouTube. So <clears throat> what they do is they tell you to put like a flashlight ahead of you where it's pointed down and every peak that you see with the flashlight is going to be where you highlight. So if you highlight on the left of him because you want like, you know, that's where you want your highlights, all of your piece, your, your shading is only going to be directed on the left. So it would be like the outside of this, the inside of this, but I'm doing it from a direct light because I have all the lights above me. If you guys could see all my ring lights, which are also magnifying glasses because my eyes are getting older. I'm not, we'll just leave that there. Um, I've noticed that sometimes with the eyelashes and how bad my day is, I have to use it for some of the small tedious pieces. Um, and we are going to put his little line down his face. And then I am going to hop off and eat because I am starving. And we've been here for two hours together, guys. That went by so fast. You know, but yet a 10-minute video when I'm by myself feels so long. Even though I've sped it up and did a voiceover. I'm just like, man, what is this about? I still have to um, shade his little scarf. And I thought about embossing it. But since his hat was already embossed, I didn't want to get carried away with it. But yes. And if you guys think of anything after, let me know. I'm completely okay with helping. Not me not being able to see this from way back here. It's because my eyes are burning. All right, there we go. Um, I'm completely okay with, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I didn't realize it was two hours either until I just looked. I'm like, yikes. So the other thing I'm going to do afterwards, and you have a choice. Um, if you guys could only see all the Nouveau drops I have. I have probably 100 bottles sitting back here. Let me just grab a couple random so I can show you guys what I'm going to use. But I'm going to give you guys some options here. And don't judge me that I grabbed the Grinch because that wasn't on purpose. I actually want to do a Grinch file. I'm just waiting to see which one, but they're little Grinch pieces. Oh, they're so cute. But now this is the confetti that I use. And what I do is I cut it down to a smaller size. These are just two of the colors because I just grabbed two. You can get them from anywhere. Um, put in nail art on Timu or clay bits and pieces on Amazon and Etsy. Um, cause that's what they are. They're clay. This is from buttons galore. I was looking to see if it, yeah, but cancer and reproductive harm. Oh, that's because I live in California. So they always have to tell us if it's shot shipped, but yeah, um, I'm gonna either use nouveau drops I have ones with glitter. It's sat for a while, so that's what the separation is. That actually will lighten it up and make it more of an iridescent color. Um, so I just have to shake it before I use it. And then I have solids. So it just depends, but we are going to spruce and doll up the top of his ice cream. Well, I'm going to do it later after I eat just because I feel a little shaky just from... I didn't eat breakfast because I couldn't eat before my injections. And I got home. Hubby came home right after and time got away from me and then I had to start my life. But thank you for hanging out with me. If any of you guys have questions that you think of after, feel free to send me a message on Facebook Messenger. Um, I will have my daughter pick out winners and I will message you guys from those that were in the live with me here. And if you guys need anything, a file, let me know. I am going to do videos for the other guys that are going to go together. That way I don't leave you hanging just doing one even though they all go together the same. Maybe it's the color of paper that I used for something else, even though I stuck to all similar colors. But also, um, I'm going to fill that in probably with um, a Cricut uh, metallic pen. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I used the Cricut pen to at least give me my guidelines of where it's going to go because this is going to go on the ice cream cup. Um, and then for the snowflakes, I use glitter paper, but just maybe you guys will want to see 
just the different things I use. And I might even end up pulling mulberry out of, you know, my ears. This is a shiny paper. I know it's really hard to see. It has silver in it. And it's actually just a real shiny high gloss paper with silver speckles in it. You can see it in person, but these dang 4K cameras. Oh, well. But I will um, definitely get the videos up and going once I get food in my tummy. And thank you for joining me. Yes, and I hope that I answered everything you guys saw in the video as far as what we can see now to ask and answer. And like I said, oh, <coughs> the other thing. Let me show you the difference of the buttons, you guys. Timu has them. Amazon has them. Joann's physically has them. So, this here is a three millimeter button. This here is a five. And I have a four in there somewhere. Oh, here's the four. Nope, just kidding. I have a four, but it's a little, it's a flat one. It's a, I don't know. I have all kinds of shapes. I go into um, Joann's and buy a lot of my buttons because they have sales. And I buy a couple packs at a time. Hobby Lobby has them as well. Oh, there's a four. So how do I pick that up and let you guys see here? It is so much smaller, but it, it's still, um, no, that's not it. Is it this one and this one? They're, because I mixed them all up, I just threw them in the bucket. I don't know which ones are where. Um, nope. Because the backside, they look smaller than they do until you flip them over. Then I see the round part and I can tell you it's the same button. But this is a three and this is a five. That's showing the size difference. Um, the mulberry paper, here's the problem with doing a video, and I found it on YouTube, actually. It's days long for the process, and I can give you the gist of it. Ooh, I dropped a button. You're going to save your cardstock scraps and put them in a 10-gallon container that you get from Walmart or Facebook, Marketplace, Amazon, whatever, and you're going to collect whatever color so if you want brown mulberry you're going to use your scraps of brown cardstock and that's actually how i made the brown to make my tear bears a hundred years ago which i have in the bedroom and um you're gonna put it in the bucket and you're gonna soak it for days and then you have a screen that looks almost like the metal strainers the ones that are real small like a cheesecloth but it's a square and you can pick your size and you're going to keep sweeping your bucket until you get all that paper. You push the water through and then you have to turn it sideways on the bucket to dry for days. And then you turn it over and peel it off. It is a days long process and I watched the lady and her husband do it. And I honestly, I want to say that it was an Amish couple. They're very nice. They're very knowledgeable. They're very polite. They answered both of the questions I had. And um, they answered everybody else's questions. But just look up on YouTube how to make mulberry paper. It's actually super easy. It's just very time consuming and a, a process over days. It's not anything you're going to get instant gratification from. But I did find a seller on eBay that sells it. I just hate paying what everybody wants considering that it's scrapbook paper scraps. And you guys are charging me like for your time, I get it. Nothing is free. I just, yipes, that's a lot for scrap, for mulberry paper. Um, there is, if I could find my old pack, um, the autistic group, it's a church group. They actually sell it for profit for their church. And I do have the card. I know I gave it to somebody else, a picture of it. So I'll dig in my box when I get back there. And it does. That's why, and I can give you a lot of uses. So for Franklin, what I do is with, well, not Franklin. For my pieces, if they don't have a base, I use a piece of scrap paper and I put it behind his body, her body, their body to give it a little bit of reinforcement so it doesn't bend if I'm just lazy and I don't want to make a base. I generally make bases for every single piece. If they don't have a base, I create it. But if it doesn't, it's going in my own scrapbook just so the head doesn't bend and then you can see the crease. I take a piece of scrapbook paper scrap scrapbook paper and I cut you know like from right above the leg start and right under the head 
and about that uh, about that wide and I will go from bottom to top to make sure that it is sturdy. So, and I also wipe off my excess chalk and my fingers when I touch ink on a piece of scrapbook paper. I can find a bunch and maybe we'll do something in one of the lives um, of putting a card together using scraps because I can show you guys a lot of things that I've learned over time and I did a basket weave using my scraps on a card for Easter and it came out so cute. And it was all different colors, it was all my pastels, but I just did a basket weave pattern and I ripped all my paper, nothing was cut. So it was all, you know, similar sizing. It was a, you know, ha about a half inch cause I used um, a ruler, but I messed, I ripped it messy. Um, but yeah, save your paper and I'm gonna hop off and go eat. Thank you for joining me and I will see you guys later. I will definitely work on getting those videos up. I just want to charge my phone and my camera. That way nothing dies while I'm in the process of working. But have a good day, guys, and I will see you guys later or in another live.